Hey, Hero Moms. All right. Oh, my goodness. We're on day seven. I can't even believe we're already at day seven. You guys have just completely, completely crushed it. And we're so proud of you. Congratulations for making it to day seven. Party <laughs> celebrate. Um, now, for those of you, if you haven't been uh, keeping up with us on all seven days, but you want to join in on the seven days, first, let's recap. Like, those of you who have done the seven days, let's just talk about all the amazing stuff that you guys have already participated in. Kelly, can you give us a rundown on um, everything, an overview of everything that we've just covered for the last seven days? Absolutely. I want to personally congratulate you for making it to day seven. If you've been joining us, Thank you so much. We appreciate all the support that we've had on social media. We've gone live for you all week and you know, we've really enjoyed that too. So for those of you that might have missed a day or two or haven't totally caught up, um, you know, this week we dropped for you the starter guide, which, you know, which is awesome, awesome content full of lists, prepping, your food lists and actually giving you part of our formula from the Hero Mom diet in there to get you started on your road to your Hero Mom journey. We gave you an in-depth um, video and, and a download for prepping and planning your food for the weekend, which is super important with keeping on track. We talked about our Hero Mom planner, setting you up for success for the week and how we do that and sharing that with you. And we also spent a couple days because it was so important on clarity, clarity of self and purpose, planning, your five big moves, the things that matter to you in life, two days worth of that. And that was so cool to see some of your responses on that. And we also covered a day of body intelligence where, where Paula talked to you um, about the importance of you know being aware of yourself and setting yourself up successfully for success with those frameworks that she shared. So that's a jam-packed week full of stuff. And so I wanna congratulate you for being part of that and to committing to yourself and making it, you know, your life better, taking that little step for change. Mm -hmm. We're so proud of you. We know how difficult change can be sometimes. We know that there was a lot of effort on your part made to make the changes that you had to, to follow along with it, even if you didn't get all of it in, but you got some of it in, I know you feel better about yourself because you showed up for you better than you have uh, before these last seven days, right? So now it's time to take that up to the next notch. And so today, today we're talking about legacy because it's day seven and legacy is huge, you guys. Legacy is so important. Hero Mom is all about building out that legacy doesn't matter if you have kids or not. What matters is you're creating what you want to be remembered for in this world. Like all the things that you care about the most, things that keep pulling you forward to, to do the things that you can't explain why you have to do it. <laughs> you just have to, <laughs> to stay in alignment with feeling good about being alive. Um, that's what we're talking about. Building out that legacy. It's so important that all of us be connected to that and be nourishing that and be building that and be protecting that. The challenge is that sometimes, you know, some people just can't stick to it. It just is so hard. Like why sometimes can we, can we stay on track with that? Why sometimes do we get off track with that? Like what happens that gets in the way of all that stuff? And we have some ideas for you that we want to share today as we're talking about staying connected and staying on track with building out that legacy. So, one of the things that we wanted to cover here for you guys was our sort of our four things that we want to highlight of what we want you guys to be focused on as we're moving forward. And Kelly and I are going to share some ideas on this one for you. And then we've got some really cool stuff. <laughs> like I almost want to just skip this part and just get to the super other stuff because we're so excited about it. But I'm just going to sit away and calm This down. is important. This part is important. This is very important but you're gonna love what we have coming up for you. Just hang in there. Okay, so our first one, and we're gonna give you a downloadable for this one. You guys might have already seen that. The first one is about courage. We really believe that making changes, uh, you know, takes a lot of courage. And the reason is because you've got to say to the old way that you don't serve me anymore. You've got it all the, the way that you naturally wanna to gravitate towards. 
the way that you can go on autopilot and just do like you have to consciously stop doing that and switch it to something else, make a new habit, uh, that thing that becomes the new normal. We're talking about here breaking old habits. This is huge when it comes to you guys creating your legacy because the old habits are the things that are holding you back from that legacy that you want. They're holding you back from getting to the next level of your life, of that uh, you know, defeating that next challenge to go to a higher, better place than you've ever been before to move it all forward and where you've been stuck, getting out of that stuck place, feeling like just completely, Oh, like you're in your zone. That's what we want for you guys. But it takes courage to do that because you have to face fears. The reason why you're stuck in that place is because you're avoiding something from the past that keeps knocking you in the face and knocking you on your butt on this pot on the spot so we're talking about breaking bad habits we're talking about creating new habits and it's super important that when you d decide to abandon one that you fill it in with the new one otherwise you just leave, leave this void open where junk just starts to pour in and the next thing you know you just you know either created an, a new bad habit or you're just going back to the old junk so, you know, redefining what that new thing is going to be. And that's what this program has been about. And that's what the stuff that we're going to be talking about uh, that's coming up is going to be about. So if you've been enjoying this week, then that means you've been breaking bad habits and you've been putting in new habits. Kelly, when it comes to courage for the hero mom, with this experience in the seven days and moving forward, like share some of the things that you're thinking about for the hero mom. For me, I think it's one of the most courageous things that you can do is to step into your courage, to step into that change and the change that you've started for yourself this week. Because once you do something for yourself, that, that has a ripple effect in your life. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden you start feeling maybe a change in your family or in your children. And, you, and then you feel it inside too. So the moment you start feeling change, that just starts to emanate over everything else in your life. And I think giving yourself permission to be courageous and make those changes and stick to those changes. And I think one of the underlying themes is consistency in doing that. So consistency and courage. And then the other points that we'll be talking about as well is to like, you know, it, it is fearful, just like Paula said. You just have to be consistent in tackling that fear and knowing that you're making that small change and it's going to affect everything around you. Very, very well said. So that's one thing. The second thing is trust. Trust is so difficult sometimes, don't you think? I feel like <laughs> uh, we've been through things in our life that we've had to, um, we've had to take trust out in order to get through things, um, trust in people, trust in situations, trust in environments, uh, trust in ourselves, uh, in order to get to some, some, some other situation, to get ourselves out of a negative situation maybe. And so maybe trust has been jaded a little bit for us. Um, but what we know moving forward, for you to be courageous, you have to have trust. You have to trust the process. You have to trust the mentors that you're choosing. You have to trust yourself that you won't fail. And when I say fail, I mean quit. Okay, will you make a mistake? Yeah, you're gonna make a mistake. So what? So what? Mistakes mean you're taking action. If you make a mistake, that means it's because you've done something. That's a good thing. And you can learn from that. Mistakes are nothing. That's not a big deal. Uh, quitting, that's a big deal. I don't want you guys to quit on yourself anymore. So from this point forward, if you keep moving on and you want to create that legacy, no more, no more not trusting yourself. Okay, so we're stepping into self-trust and the process that we're going to provide, if you choose to move on with us or if you continue doing this process that you've been through for the last six days and starting today's seventh day, uh, then it's trusting this process. And if you choose to hang out with us, then trusting us as your mentors, as your coaches, that we're going to provide for you 
uh, something that's safe and something that's secure and something sustainable and something that's going to um, provide for you the results, the outcomes that you want. So Kelly, when trust comes up for you, what, what, what goes on inside of you when you hear that with this, with what we're talking about? I love this point because when you start to trust yourself and trust the process, you go from why is this happening to me to what can I learn from this and how can I change it? How can I affect it? How can I learn from it? And it, you take yourself out of that victim mentality and you start to stand up for yourself, which bolsters your courage. So you can see how one layers on top of the other. Um, but it really is, you know, we're, we are meant to learn things. And if we sit in quiet for a moment and ask ourselves, what am I supposed to be learning from this now? I've, I've been asked that question a lot. And when you are, again, consistent in doing that, then that's going to become a habit and you're no longer going, well, this happened to me or that happened to me. Why? Why? It's not, no. How am I going to change this? Mm. What can I learn from it? How can I grow? And then you in turn are teaching, you're showing, you're role modeling to your family how to best deal with situations. And when you trust yourself like that, it's easier to deal with other trust issues outside of yourself. So mm -hmm. it's, it's what um, Paula likes to call the, those dragon slaying moments, mm -hmm. you know, where it, when you trust, you're, you're in control of that. It's not controlling you, but you're in control of that. Yes, <clears throat> which then too leads to the perfect next step. The next thing you guys got to stay focused on, and it is legacy. I know today we're talking about legacy, but it, this third step is about legacy. This is where you guys start digging in, deep diving into truly understanding what are you building out? Like you are building something out, whether you're conscious of it or not. It's good or it's bad. It's as effective as you want or it's not, you know, but what is it? Have you been as effective as you've wanted to be in your legacy? When, when, when you think about those who you impact, are you equipping them with the things that they need to create their happiest life, their most successful version of their life? Whatever is your responsibility, you know, we, we talk about being the hero mom, you know, to, to whoever it is, you know, your family, that, that could be your friends, that could be your nieces and nephews, it could be your children, it could be your business, could be your product, whatever it is that you're raising up, whatever you're nurturing to put out there into the world, that is where your legacy is. That is what you need to be equipping with all the good stuff. And if you're not consciously choosing to do that on a day-to-day -day basis, you're not showing up for the legacy that you want. And you are the star of that show. Like nobody else gets to star in the show of your legacy, but you. So if you don't show up, this, this show does not go on. And then anyone who would get benefit from it, they're missing out. So every single choice you make, every win that you have is a win towards creating that legacy that you want to build. And it's not just for now. It's not just for today, but it's for the generations that come after you who get the benefit of that. That's what we want for you. We know you want that too. Maybe you haven't thought about it like that, but that's what we're talking about when we talk about legacy. Right, Kelly? Absolutely. And I like to equate it to like building a house. <clears throat> so you want to have a really good, strong foundation. If there's a crack in the foundation, you could have trouble later on, later on. If you don't pound enough nails into that frame, you're going to have a shaky framework. So you want to make sure that you're layering, that you're paying attention, that you're constantly watering that garden mm. so that it can grow and be more. And that's what a legacy is. Love that. I love the garden and the house building metaphor. It's so true. And that's so relatable. You guys really should seriously think about it like that. And what we know, why we focus so much on the health and the food and all that stuff is because we know until you're winning in your health, it's, it is so hard. You are literally crippled, hands tied behind your back and trying to build a house. Can you build a house without your hands? How are you going to do that? Without your health, how can you build a legacy? 
That's why we want you to master the health piece first. And to do that, you need courage. You need to trust yourself in the process. You need to be thinking about your legacy. And on the fourth point, you need to be having support. If you don't set yourself up with the support that you have to have, you can't build legacy by yourself. It's not possible. The most successful people in the world do it with other people. They have teams, they have uh, partners, they have collaborations with all the best of who they can muster up and they align themselves with the best of all of those things. So if you're not doing it here, do it somewhere. Go out and seek out the best that you can find and always be upgrading that as you upgrade yourself. So we're talking about support, we're talking about a coach, a mentor, get in a community that is aligned with where you're going on that same path. I love our Hero Mom Nation community for that exact reason, because they are building out a legacy. They are focused on mastering their bodies. Kelly, when you're thinking about support, what has been huge for you, and what have you seen been huge for the Hero Moms um, experiencing support from our community? My biggest thing for me and for our Hero Moms, I think, has been number one, our community, because we have support, we have understanding, we have, you know, there's just so many tips that people are giving, oh, I never thought of that, or this worked for me, this worked for me, and it's just, you know, when you're going through the drudgery of stuff, you sometimes don't have that peripheral vision, so I love how our community is like that perfect peripheral vision. Mm. And then a, a coach, definitely a coach. I have a coach. I have a nutrition coach. I have a high performance coach. I, you know, you, you can't have a spiritual coach. I have a spiritual coach. Yes, I do. So there's all these aspects that I want to improve. And, and these people challenge me. They're saying, Kelly, where can you level up and where do you need to open up? And where do you need to think about this? And, you know, and it's, so it's all weaved together. Uh, but I never, I would never have thought on that level without a coach to push me there. So I think it's, it's definitely, you know, and you have to find the right person too. Mm -hmm. somebody that you resonate with someone that will lovingly challenge you, push you and poke you in ways that, you know, don't feel bad, but know that like, just get that ball rolling for you. Um, mm -hmm. Mentors, you know, people's books that you might read. Those things are all really important to build the whole hero mom. Absolutely. And I would say it does feel a little bit bad to get poked in that way, <laughs> but it's good bad. You know, right. it's like after you worked out and you're sore, you're like, oh, I'm in pain. Right. But it's good pain. Like it's that kind, you know, and that's the kind that you need to grow. What we've learned in high performance, what we've learned for, from our mentor, Brendan Richard, is that when we are in, the, the more we're in struggle, the more we will grow. As long as we're there, you know, like not, it doesn't even have to be intentionally there. It's just all a matter of how you decide to, to work your, you know, to grow your way through it. Um, and then here in this, in this community, we're very proactive in, and very much taking the empowered mindset of growing through struggle, knowing that on the other side, we're going to be higher than we were when we started. That's the whole thing. A struggle is like a, like a little bit of an uphill climb. Right? It's not but it's like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this going uphill in some kind of way. Um, but with a guide, with tools, with cheers, you know, with, with the ability to uh, you know, believe in yourself, building out your confidence. So it's never alone and it's never unequipped um, when you're going through it with us. So, uh, so there's security in that. There's safety in knowing that. There's that trust piece that comes in, right? Um, and then, uh, you know, and, and then now we get to tell you about the exciting piece, the thing that we've been waiting a week to tell you guys. Okay. <laughs> this is what we have coming up. So if you've loved these last seven days, all right, if you've loved these last seven days and you want to keep going on, you don't want to stop this awesome traction that you have. You don't want to stop being a part of this amazing community of people. Then you have to go on with us to the next next thing that we have coming out for you. So let, let us tell you about it, okay? So this is something we've never, ever done before. We've been toiling to put together for the last, gosh, six months, Kels? Last, last six months? Yeah, uh, at least. <laughs> a fully automated version of our most popular program. 
And that means we have all of the downloadables, we have all of the instructional videos that go with it, every part of the program fully explained in detail based on the level of where the program is. So we have different levels that we're talking about here that are all fully automated for you guys to do together with us. And uh, normally we're talking about a $100 program called the Belly Blaster, and that is 53 pages. That's our Hair Mom Belly Blaster, our signature seven day program. It's different than the seven day that you just went through. It's way more intense. It's, it's more of a detox. Of, more uh, in detail and depth. Mm -hmm, experience. And then, and that sets your body up like for what you're gonna be doing in the bigger program, which is called our Hero Mom Diet. Now in the Hero Mom Diet program, that is a 60 day program and that's an 85 page uh, downloadable that we provide for you. And again, all of them have videos that go along with you, taking you through it through the whole way. So I, I believe the Hero Mom Diet, I can't remember for sure, I, I wanna say it's like 30 videos uh, that are included in there. And then the uh, Belly Blaster, is probably like around 10, maybe 15, I can't remember. Right. But yeah, it's just fully comprehensive of everything that you need to go through those things. And that right there, the Hear Mom Diet is a, uh, it's about like a thousand dollar program. So we're talking about $1,100-ish right here um, is the program that we want you guys to go on with. But get this, we're not gonna charge $1,100 for the first time ever we're making this brand new program an experience that we want you guys to go through with us as a beta. That means that we're not gonna charge a full price. We're not even gonna charge 50% off. We're charging like, okay, I didn't do the math. Because <laughs> math is, you know, it's math. It's not bad, it's just math. <laughs> um, but we're, but we're looking at, um, well, we have the breakdown of everything for you that we're gonna send you in an email today. So I want you guys to look at that in detail. Okay, sorry, I teased you on the math piece, but I don't know the math. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it to you, but I'm telling you, it's like, it's crazy. It's gonna be like 90% off or some crazy thing like that. And we have tons of bonuses that we're gonna be throwing in for you. So Kelly, let's start telling them about the bonuses. So right now, we already talked about getting the the uh, seven day belly blaster, and uh, that's a 53 page document, and then the 83 page document that's the Hero Mom Diet. That's what we're talking about having you guys beta test with us, but for beta testing that with us, that means you guys are gonna get what, Kelly? What are they getting? You are also going to get the Hero Mom family favorite cookbook. This <sighs> is amazing because it has all the good stuff like tacos and things in it that the yeah. family loves to eat together. Yes. And whole week's worth a meal planned out for you and it's never before been released mm -hmm. so that is a new one we are super excited about that one we will also give out the we had three um three one week hero mom fitness focus uh programs um guts and butts sweat week and hotty body works on all parts of your body week's worth planned out for you. You'll get those as well. And you'll get one of our hero mom favorites. Our hero moms love this one. Surprising to us, they do absolutely love this one. I mean, it's a great <laughs> program, but they really latched onto this one. And it's our three-day hero mom reboot that we all do at the beginning of each month, but that's going to be included as well. So did I, did I miss anything? Yes. One more emotional eating. Oh gosh, that's right. How could I forget that one? <laughs> this one's so good, probably because I just wanted to forget, but <laughs> this has also never been released. It's an emotional eating workbook. It addresses uh, the, the, the things that affect us emotionally and why we're grabbing food as we work through that. Amazing, amazing. Like I said, never before released, that will also be added in. So mm -hmm. I, I love that one. Yeah, so all of these things we're talking about, actually, you guys have never been released uh, to experience or for a price of, in any way to the public. Uh, some of these things have been experienced by some of our inner circle hero mom community um, in testing some of them out, but they've never been released on this scale before. So you guys will be amongst some of the first ever to fully experience these programs. Um, and then we have a double bonus. 
double bonus, you guys. So on top of the bonuses of the never before released stuff, we have our first time ever telling anybody ever about some of these other things that we're going to be including for you guys. And we're super excited to bring to you a high quality because we're all about high quality, as you guys can see from our food plan. We only like the highest quality things involved in what it is that we're, we're doing. Um, this really awesome new supplement. There's a couple different kinds actually. It's called CBD and you may have heard of it. It's from Hemp Plant and this is a very natural herb from a high quality maker and we absolutely are in love with this. Now some of the benefits, so it's going to be CBD or CBG, but let me tell you, this is only going to be for the first 25 people who sign up for the beta. So only the first 25 people are going to get a bottle of CBD or CBG uh, to go with the Hero Mom program that you guys are going to be beta testing. You will also be beta testing these. So that means you're going to get this supplement of CBD or CBG, which can help you guys with sleep, with weight loss, with hormones, with inflammation, with stress, and with blah, blah, blah. Like it, the list just goes on forever. <laughs> we'll give you the full rundown when you guys get more information on that. But it's, it's, um, it's incredibly natural. There's no, uh, we'll explain to you exactly what's in it, you guys, because I know there are some misunderstandings about the CBD and CBD products. If you've ever even heard of them, some people haven't even heard of them. We've been doing a lot of research on this for the last um, many months and um, have been testing it out on ourselves and have had miraculous um, results with that. So we're excited to bring that to you as part of this beta experience. And another new thing that we're working on, Kelly, why don't you explain what that is? I'm super excited about it because I love essential oils um, because it is a natural way we can help ourselves. And again, we are all about natural, good quality products. So we have been working on, um, it's, it, we're calling it Hero Mom Harmony, and it's a hormone balancing essential oils blend. And when used along with um, a, a clean diet, such as the Hero Mom diet, um, it can help aid in the balancing of your hormones. And we know, I mean, I'm 48 years old, Paula's 48 years old, we're starting to hit that menopause bump you know, and, and things happen. And this is just a natural way to help even that out. So it can further help your sleep, help your mindset, help, you know, your, your emotions as well. So, so we'll be including that as well. So those are the, that's the big announcement, you guys. Can you see why we've been <laughs> crazy about telling you about this? Why it's been so hard for us to not say anything, we wanted to leave it as a surprise so you could just focus on these seven days that you guys have been going through and you've done a great job and we're super proud of you guys uh, for getting through those seven days and staying committed to it. Now we wanna take you to the next level with us. We wanna give you these gifts of being able to experience these programs for, that, for some crazy, uh, we'll send you an email on the breakdown of everything that you'll get, the value of all of that, and that super tiny little price that it's gonna be so that you guys um, see what that opportunity is all about and decide if that's a good fit for you or not. And we're looking at starting it in about two weeks. So that's gonna be February 15th, I believe it is, is yeah. when we're gonna be starting that. So you'll need to, uh, you'll need to be able to commit to that um, about a week prior. We'll have again in the email, the details of the deadlines and all that kind of stuff. And again, remember those first 25 people get those products for free, these deliverables that we'll send to you uh, for the testing as well. We don't have enough for everyone, so we can only promise it to the first 25 people. So make sure you be one of those first 25. Everyone who gets into the beta will be tracking their progress on a daily and weekly basis. That's part of the agreement, so you'll need to be able to commit to that. And we're gonna be doing it basically between Valentine and Easter. So you don't have any major holidays that can throw you off on the plan. We did that on purpose for you guys. We want to set you up for success with that. We looked at the calendar and found exactly the right date. That's why we're not starting it immediately after this. Okay. Otherwise we would have just started it right away. Okay. So then the last thing we just want to say to you guys is that we honor everything that you've done. We honor the effort that you've put in so far. We honor the belief that you have in yourself. We honor the fact that you stepped up 
and you're taking action to do something towards a better experience of life for yourself and for those that matter to you. Because we know that when you level yourself up, what Kelly, what's that metaphor that we love to think about putting your finger in the ocean? Oh yes, the ripple effect. The ripple. <laughs> Your life elevates theirs. And Absolutely. you know, when, when you make that ripple, it carries and it carries for a long time, longer than you can even see. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter how small you think the changes are. Don't think about taking care of yourself as something that's selfish. It's absolutely not. It's the most selfless thing that you could possibly do because when you make yourself um, happier, more fulfilled, more confident, more empowered, you go out there and have a better impact on those around you. That's what we're talking about. When you stick your finger in the ocean, it creates a ripple and you think that's it. But that ripple keeps going down the line, and down the line, down the line until it hits the other coast, you know, in Japan or wherever. And then it bounces off there and it, until it hits another coast and it just like endlessly keeps happening. Uh, again, like Kelly said, far beyond what you could even imagine. You affect the world more in a better way when you take care of yourself. So do this not just for you. Do this because the best version of you gets to come out, which means the star of the show, you're going to be in your prime for the whole rest of your life as you're creating your legacy. And we want for you that no regrets life, that no regrets legacy. So that at the end of your age, uh, at the end of your life, you're not looking back saying, I wish I would have this. And I wish I would have spent more time here or less time this. We don't want any of that for you, but you have to be able to be in that place of not looking at yourself as being selfish when you're going to spend the time, the money, the energy, and the focus to get yourself in the best shape ever, physically and mentally. And we want to do that here with you guys if you loved this experience or if what we're talking about, this awesome beta group, sounds exciting for you guys. So if you have any questions, please drop that in. Otherwise, we thank you guys for spending the last seven days with us, and we hope to see you in the beta. Thank you. We appreciate you.